This week, we're boarding a plane in Lima and heading an hour and a half south to a city I've never been to before called Arequipa. Hey folks, we are in Arequipa. Arequipa is the second largest city in Peru. They're known for delicious cuisine. They're known for colonial architecture and these beautiful white buildings made out of volcanic stone. We've never been here before, so we're super excited to explore their city through their cuisine. We're gonna take you to some amazing restaurants and I can't wait to try some foods that I've never had before. We're heading to a restaurant called La Nueva Palomino, which is a restaurant that has managed to rescue the ancestral techniques that are a very important part of Arequipa cuisine. Hola. We didn't realize until we sat down, we're not in the right restaurant. <laughs> okay, so let's try again. We're at Nueva, La Nueva Palomino. And we're here for some traditional, amazing Arequipa delights dishes. Um, but I do want to say, we got a little confused. There's two restaurants with this exact same name right next to each other. So this one is beautiful. I walked through, they have all these different gardens. They have a cage of guinea pigs. They have Christmas decorations, because it's that time of year. This place is beautiful, but don't let it be confused with the one out closer to the street. So this is the new, oh, okay. So this is a copa. It's a traditional dish here in Equipa. There's boiled potatoes underneath all this sauce. And the sauce is made from chilies, peanuts. There's um, mint, which is from the Wakatai plant. So, all like a bunch of flavors sitting there. And then I think this is fried cheese, right? Yeah. Fried cheese. So, and it's served obviously with, you know, the egg. <laughs> so this is the ricotto vieja, which means stuffed pepper. And it's a traditional dish here in everything. It has the ricotto pepper, and then inside it's stuffed with beef, and it's served with potatoes. And I can already tell there's a ton of cheese here, so I can't wait to try it. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. Oh, it's spicy. Mm. Oh wow. It's like, it's like a sweet and savory. I can feel some sweetness to it. There's some definite heat. Oh my god. There's so much flavor to it. Like my, my taste buds are kind of like going all over the place. How spicy is it? That's spicy. My tongue's on fire. Okay. I thought this wasn't supposed to be spicy. <laughs> I've, I've heard other people say, this isn't spicy. This is just not realizing all the flavor profiles that are in here. Between the spicy, the spices, and then the sweetness and raisins or whatever they're putting in here. Really good. I love that. Like, I've made stuff pepper that so I have to say that's terrible. This is like how oh, it's shishy done. This is delicious. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I can really taste the chilies. Do you taste chilies? I think the mint follows up at the end. Like you get the mint like at the end, which I thought I would get more mint at the front. It's really good. It reminds me of um, a Hia de Gadina. When I look at that sauce, I'm like, oh, it's very intimidating. But when you eat it, it's like light, it's delicious, it's divine. Like, there's so many flavors in it, you just want to keep eating any more. So that's what it reminds me of. We're stopping by Tio Dario. They have a lot of experience in making tasty dishes from Arequipa and other parts of Peru. They love using fish and seafood in their food and they pick the best 
local ingredients, including some special ones from the Southern Pacific Coast and the Andes. Piece goes sour. So today we are at Tio Dario. It's a beautiful restaurant here, and we're super excited to try some more food from Arequipa. Well, I'm gonna start with the ceviche. This is chupe de camarones. 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 Mm -hmm. This is an authentic, true. Uh, dish here from Arequipa. It is a seafood soup with chilies, it has cream, it has cheese, it has shrimp. There's a lot of stuff. Corn. There's corn, potatoes. Mm -hmm. Wow. The best way I can describe it, it's like a seafood dish. It's got corn, it's got lots of shrimp, it's got cream, cheese, and it's spicy. Okay, so this is the adobe. It is a dish that is served typically on Sundays to cure that, you know, Saturday hangover. Um, it has pork, it's like a stew, it's like a soupy stew. Let me try it. Mm. Really good. So, from what I heard, the Lundles dip this amazing bread in the sauce. I'm gonna try. Oh, yeah. Really good. Tonight, I had Chicha. Chicha is another restaurant in Gastro It is one of the best restaurants here in Arequipa. I'm really excited. I'm going to be trying guinea pig for the first time. I'm sorry to my childhood guinea pig, but I have to try it. I've been to Peru. I've got to try it. I'm also going to have some other amazing meats from here in Arequipa. All right, so they're here. This is the fried guinea pig, and it came with salsa friolia on top with some sauces, and there's some fried potatoes underneath there. So what it reminds me of after like a couple of different bites is a bunny rabbit. Like my brother, my grandpa, my dad used to hunt bunnies as a kid, and they bring home the game, and we cook it. And that's what it reminds me of, like a bunny rabbit. Not as gamey though. Like it doesn't have a gamey taste like a bunny rabbit would, but the texture and how small it is reminds me of a bunny. So this is Pachamanca. What's really cool about this is three different meats. It's chicken, it's beef, and it's pork. And it's cooked underground on hot stones. This is something they've been doing here for a long time. So I'm excited. Alright, so my first time having the Pachamanca. This is the pork. I'm excited to give it a try. Yeah, it has a lot of flavor. It's really moist and it's moist and juicy. Which is the point you want from pork. You don't want your pork dried out. But it has a lot of flavor from the sauce that's on top of it. Kind of gives it like a earthy earthy flavoring. I want to try the fried cheese too, but I'm going to have a little bit with a potato. It's a sweet potato. Oh, wow. That's really good too. You can tell that's been like cooking for a while. The potato like took all the juices from like the meat, the sauce. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really good. Okay, I, I, we don't, we need to do this. Like we need to do this at home, I want to try this. 
so great. I love it. So we're at Trece Monjas, which means 13 nuns for your Just getting our day started off right because we're going to be heading to a tour soon. But what's interesting from what I read about this restaurant is it was inspired by the monastery across the street that was started by 13 nuns. So that's where the name comes from. I love Zillarium beer and they have it here, so I have to get it. I have to get it. So. I didn't know beer could be so sweet. This nails it. I mean, this is sweet. It's sweet. It's thick. It's delicious. Love it. So we're starting with the local sausage sandwich. They've already added some mustard to the bun. We put the chimichurri and the pickled onions on there. So now it's time to give it a try. Mm -hmm. The sausage has a little bit of spiciness to it. This bun is just perfectly toasted. That's not like falling apart. It's like soft in the middle. And it just like, it just all melts together so well. <laughs> that is delicious. So this is the breakfast platter. It has some artisanal bread, some local cheese, avocado, ham. We have some olives, jelly, and homemade mayonnaise. We met up with a local tour guide for a walking tour of Arequipa so we could learn more about the city and the culture. The tour included a stop here at Mundo Alpaca, which is a museum with real alpacas and llamas on display, plus textile exhibits and a boutique for wool items. Ooh, you like that? Hi. Hi. Oh, you like that? Okay. See how they swallowed the whole branch. Yeah. They do, right? Yeah, do you see them? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do they spit? Yes. Oh. But not to you. Oh, he's spitting on him. So cute. <laughs> Cheers. So tonight, Mummies, we are super excited to be here. It's one of the best restaurants in Africa. They are known for their fusion of Italian. The food here of the Arequipa. So I'm really excited to give it a try. So here we have the Chope de Carmen Mes. Chope de Camarón. Thank you. I don't, I'm not going to say it right, but it's shrimp and pasta. So how they fused the Italian with the Arequipa is. Chope, chupe, chupe, chupe is the is a soup. It's a local soup that they reduce down and they make it into a sauce, and then they put it on to the fettuccine. You can choose the pasta that you want. We chose fettuccine, but there you go. The fettuccine is the Italian. The chupe is the arequipa, and it's fused in this dish. Oh, that is so delicious. You can really taste the shrimp. Like, you know how sauce can overtake the pasta? You taste the pasta, you taste the shrimp, you taste the ingredients. It's delicious. I love it. So, this is the adobo ravioli. So, the ravioli is obviously 
the Italian part, and the adobo, which is a stew that's served on Sundays, the Cura hangover here in Arequipa, is the Arequipa part. So what they did is they reduced down the stew, and they made it the sauce for the ravioli, and inside the ravioli is the pork they usually serve in the stew. That's really good. Oh wow. That pork is like so... I feel like it's been cooking all day. It's been marinated. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they say that they cook it over nine. Oh, it, you can taste it. And then they eat it on Sunday as a hangover cure. Yeah, it's delicious. Maybe I should have couple more glasses of wine to make it, you know, true Arequipa. Gracias. Sí, gracias. Cheers. Tonight we're at Indigo. They're known for their creative, delicious cocktails. And also they have a, how do I describe it? A more modern Arequipian cuisine. So we're really excited to give it a try. The staff as we arrived were very nice and welcoming and the restaurant is as well. It's very cozy, warm and inviting. You just wanna sit and relax. So this is called fake oysters, and I thought it was oysters, but it's obviously fake oysters. So I don't know what the seafood is in this. I'm just gonna give it a try. Do I just like eat it all at once? Yeah, time? like oysters. Oh my gosh. It's just like a mixture, it's a combination of flavors. I'm trying to figure out what it is because there's like a smokiness to it. And it has like some salsa on it. So it has like all this tanginess. I kind of feel like it's oysters. Okay. We had to ask the waiter what this was because we couldn't figure it out. Harold was here digging through and he was like, I can't tell. I was like, it's an oyster, it's an oyster. It's called fake oysters because they're actually mushrooms. It's not fish at all, it's nothing. It's a mushroom. I don't even like mushrooms, but this is delicious and it tastes exactly like an oyster. Mind blown. So this is the teradito. It's a white fish. I'm just not sure which one. Mm. I don't know. I think Carol's gonna have to tell me which fish this is because I can't tell. But it's really good. So this is the corn cake, and inside is shredded beef that has been cooking for 12 hours. On the side, they have the sauce criolla, and then this is kind of like a sweet sauce that you can add to it. Ooh, look at that shredded beef. Look at that. That is delicious, and it all goes together. You can taste that the beef has been marinated for a long time, so it's tender, it's delicious. And then with the salsa criolla, oh, it gives that like saltiness, and then this, it's like sweet and savory. Oh god, oh my god. So this is the pork belly with rice. It looks delicious, so let's give it a try. at the bottom usually has some crispiness at the bottom <laughs> a fried pork belly mm. delicious I love the rice it's a Christmas crisp crispness at the bottom <laughs> it's so good mm. Stop it. Stop it. This is delicious. Mm. 
I mean, Peace Ghost Towers is the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> so, it's mid-morning. We're at Tanta. We're stopping in for just a snack because we're going to do some shopping. We're going to walk around the city. And we just want a little something to hold us over. So, Tanta is another Gaston Imperial uh, restaurant. Um, and we did eat at Tanta at Gu in Buenos Aires over there. So, it should be a good treat. Okay. Uh -huh. So we ordered the pan cotton chicharron, and it's like it's just the ball pan cotton chicharron. I already see that they added tomato. They have, instead of the thick fried uh, sweet potato, they did chips. Oh, it's good. And they also added mint, which we, it might be Walker Thai. It might not be, but I think that's an ode to Arequipa. So, let's give it a try. Wow. That was really good. The pork is so flavorful and delicious. Mm, I like, I like the tomatoes. Wow, it's just really good. Yeah, you like a piece of pork by your hair. Sorry, I'm a very messy eater, and I'm trying to do better, guys. But I really do like the prakasha bread. This pork is divine. I think they did a really. Mm, like some fattiness on it too that just like it's so like well done mm. the flavors in this is like a really amazing pan con chicharron i love you I love you <laughs> delicious this is the lomo sentado uh empanada i love lomo sentado but i've never had really you have to be Oh, I never had an empanada with lemon and Ooh, they're really hot. Check it out. Oh, you can see it. You can see the onions, the spices, the meats. Ooh. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Oh, wow. Give it a... It's hot. I'm going to burn my mouth. And I think it has potatoes, too. It does look like they're little, like, diced up tomatoes. Potatoes. Or potatoes, sorry. Oh, wow. That has so much flavor in it. There's so much. Oh, my gosh. It doesn't actually taste like a, a, a normal Lomo Cicado, uh sauce. It's, like, special. It feels like it's... Mm. Wow. Wow. There I got it. Very good. Oh, that's delicious. This is the perfect snack to have. If you want lomo sentado, but you don't want the whole meal, because you know, you get the rice, you get the fried potatoes, you get all the, this is just like the perfect little snack. Mm. Wow. That was delicious. This was the perfect little shareable snack. We, we there's some mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are back here. Um, this was the perfect shareable plate. The two empanadas, the pan con chicharron. We shared both. We each had um, the pisco sour. This was the perfect snack to get us through the afternoon. So tonight we're at Chalawasi. I feel like the common denominator of any city you go to is a good old fashioned cheeseburger. And that's what I'm in the mood for. I've enjoyed the food here in Arequipa, but I'm just in the mood for it. So that's why we're here. This place is known for great draft beers. There's tons to choose from. So we're gonna have a beer too. All right, so I chose a mango IPA from a local brewery here in Arequipa. Cheers. That's good. Thanks to you. 
I'm gonna try to eat this as clean as possible because we know I make a mess. Oh. That is delicious. I love caramelized onions. That makes like, such a sweet and the burger. It's like a perfect pink inside. Oh, wow. Definitely juicy. You can see it dripping. That's a delicious burger. They nailed it. Damn it. to the airport. I can't believe my time here in Arequipa is coming to an end. I loved this city. It was beautiful. It's a beautiful city. I loved all the amazing cuisine that we had. The ingredients are so different, but the food is delicious. I can't wait to come back. I loved it here. It's a great city. We'll see you on the next video. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a comment, thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you. All right, take care.